he was betrayed many times. For him it was unthinkable to betray his, uh, his own followers. When they, they reach Albania, they reach a group of people who not only will fight, but can fight. And they see him as this great heroic figure who's larger than life. So in that sense again, he's a, another Alexander. Um, that the struggle between West and East, or East and West, has revived. After he died, his men fought for, what, 12 more years. Uh, that says that it wasn't just him, that he built a community around him. Skanderbeg. 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 When one studies the annals of history, in the rise and fall of empires, it is important to remember that with great change comes great sacrifice. In the frenzied age of rebirth, better known as the Renaissance, the city-states of 15th century Italy vie for wealth, power, and glory. They were unaware and blind to the threat gathering in the East. For across the waters of the Adriatic, there is also change. The power of the once great Byzantine Empire is no more. Mehmet Fatih, the conqueror, has seized the mother of cities, Constantinople. For a thousand years, Constantinople has served as the guardian of the intellectual heritage of the ancients. Now, she would be the capital for a new paradigm, the Ottoman Empire. Under the Turkish onslaught, great kingdoms of Eastern Europe fall, one after the other. Bulgarians, Serbs, and Greeks are all vanquished. Hungarians tenaciously resist in the north, and on the western front, the Albanians stand defiant with their noble leader, George Castrioti. The world shall remember him as the great Skanderbeg. Born the son of a powerful prince in the land of the eagle, he was taken hostage as a child, raised at the Ottoman court, and grew up to be a great warrior and commander, although he never forgot his people, the land, nor the faith of his forefathers. Skanderbeg's fateful decision to return home to Albania and declare independence from the Ottoman yoke was the first act of the Homeric struggle. the people and nobles united under his leadership. For a quarter of a century, the mountains echoed with the cries of liberty and freedom. In an epic struggle, Skanderbeg and the children of the eagle had blocked the invasion of Italy by the Ottoman Colossus, thus thwarting Mehmet's ambitious prize, Rome, and his dream of a universal empire. This immense sacrifice of Skanderbeg and his people bought precious time for the maturing of the Renaissance and for the security of the Catholic Church, thus saving Rome and Europe from the greatest catastrophe ever, Ottoman conquest, which very well would have changed the course of history. The Albanians paid a terrible price for their resistance, abandoned, forgotten, and exiled to five centuries of Ottoman obscurity. Yet the identity of the Albanian shall be forever connected to their warrior king, Skanderbeg.